guys, welcome to the show. We just wanted to come on and share some updates about what's been going on on the YouTube streets and just keeping the commentary going, um, just to stay abreast of what's going on, not to offend. Our um, updates are not intended to harm or offend. We're just giving our critical analysis of what's going on. Um, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on social media, or the reality TV shows. But what we came across um, is, you know, just some updates about what's been going on. And I have Ms. Hart. She is my co-host for the show. This is Bronze. Um, and we're just trying to do it respectfully we're not trying to harm anyone at all we're just trying to share the commentary and keep our viewers up to date um, i'm gonna bring her on try it again miss hart because it didn't click through so the title of the uh show today is shirley strawberry and ernesto when a woman is fed up and more hot topics because boy we have a lot of hot topics to talk about but we only have a short amount of time to do it and i'm bringing her on hi miss hart can you hear me hold on guys let's see what's going on in the background okay you're on yes i can hear you can you okay. hear me yes let me turn my okay. phone let me leave my phone Okay, so we I was just explaining to the viewers that we just this is a channel just to keep our viewers up to date with what's going on on social media, YouTube, whether it's uh, reality TV shows that we like to watch, our favorite, you know, talk show hosts, whatever it is when it comes to entertainment. This is intended to give, a, you know, the viewers updates, entertainment, and it's not intended to harm. And all of this is allegedly, unless it's already proven, uh, that it is what it is. But the copyrighted music or photos that we show is not ours. Okay, so here we go. So you were telling me that um, Shirley Strawberry, you know, we've been hearing about her in the news with her husband. And um, she has actually put her foot down because what we have been hearing is a lot of the phone calls that is... Mm -hmm. um, that a channel, you know, has put up and they have been staying up to date with a lot of the calls that Ernesto is making to Shirley because yep. it is now public information. Everything is public information now, guys. There's like these people are invading our privacies and it's everything is up for grabs for people to use as content. And that's why I say I, on this channel and on my other channels, I try to be, do it respectfully. Yes, I am a content creator. I share content. I'm a public you know, speaker and I share inspirational, motivational stuff. But when it comes to women empowerment, that's what I'm really all about. So whether we're talking about the shows or not, we still give commentary on on things that we feel passionate about and that's women and, and why you know women shouldn't just let people run all over them like even if you're married it doesn't mean that your husband should treat you like a dog or that you're not worthy of anything and going around sleeping around with all these women and, and just playing you for a fool and taking your money this is what the, this is the prime example of what is happening and what has happened to Shirley and I hope she hears this and not feel offended because listen a lot of this stuff is going on. She has, has spoke and is speaking freely about this too. So, you know, so we, what you were telling me that there's a channel that you said that have um, the informa uh, not information, but that shows Shirley just like speaking to him. And mm -hmm. like, no, because he's like a puppet master. He is. Can you hear me? Yeah. He was like okay, manipulating, manipulating mm -hmm. her. Um, through this marriage and on social media. I mean, he knows some of these calls are being monitored and he's just playing. Well, he didn't, he, he didn't initially know because mm -hmm. um, initially, the so the calls, there's a channel that there's a delay. I'm going to have to log, log out and come back in. 
Okay, because I was going to say he didn't know that because when you're in jail, they let you know that these calls are monitored and recorded. And yeah, used against you in the court of law. <laughs> so I'm a, I'm gonna log out and come back in because I hear a delay. Okay, okay, for me. Okay, let me t- like let me turn my phone um all the way off. Let me disconnect. Can you still hear it? Is it a delay now? Okay, we're just going to wait for her to get back on. But yeah, so it's some channels um, that have been sharing a lot of the content about what's been going on. But what we have found and what Ms. Hart has been telling me that there's a channel that uh, uploads a lot of the jailhouse calls, phone calls from jail. And they have Shirley and Ernesto phone calls up. So... Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I don't hear the delay. Now. So I just wanted to say, yes, you you are right what you said. They all, the recording does always say this call is being recorded, but I don't think he knew about, um, what you, you know more about the Freedom Act. Yeah. That'd probably be well, good if we mean, could. Yeah, that we can share this information. Yes, um, yes. I wonder if you could pull up the def- the uh, definition of that, that Freedom Act, because I don't think a lot of YouTubers know about it. And you knew about it when I first just said Freedom, yeah. uh, freedom of Information. Yes. I think Obama was in office when this happened. I'm not sure. I can't remember. but Because um... people were like saying like, this is illegal. And I'm like, no, it can't be illegal if it's being done. And and then um, I here's go what ahead. It says, um, it says the Freedom of Information Act since 1967. Okay, and it says the Freedom of Information laws allow access by the general public to de- to data held by national government and where applicable by state mm. and local government. The emergence of freedom of information legislation was a response to increasing dissatisfaction with the secrecy surrounding government policy development and decision making. I guess, um, remember when the, I think it was Watergate, when a lot of the, mm-hmm. stuff, mm-hmm, so a lot of this stuff is, you know, has been long, for a long time since 1967. It's just that people didn't realize it. That all of our information, like our phone numbers, our address, and all this stuff, people have been using that to dox people because it's so freely accessible. And now anybody can start. There's companies that have made millions off of our information. You know, if you ever like try to Google an address or a company name, and then there's this thing that says, here, click here, and pay $1.99, and you can find out your phone number to this and this and that and this address and all this kind of stuff well that's what it's about it's like this stuff is is free when you go to the courthouse Mm -hmm. you go to you know this except for your health records and health information that's that's and the the key thing the key thing the key thing here that or ernesto didn't get it and the people that didn't know about this uh freedom to information act is that the government is involved so mm-hmm. he is in a facility right that is and ran by the government he is right. now property anything right. that he says is now the property of the government right it's and not your property right. and when the government's involved if they ask you any question i don't care how secrecy i mean i don't care how many you know secrets you have the government takes precedence if they ask you for an answer you got you got to give it to them it's, it's, yeah you can't yeah it's, yeah it's like if you're in you know you're in you're in jail ernesto you're now property of the government your underwear no longer belong to you no that's the government. And so it is need to be in there. <laughs> yeah, and that's not the. Yeah, you have to pay to be in there. You have to pay for your your lawn, your food, your soap, your you know your snacks, all of that. Your phone call, like whatever you need, housing. You can't just be up there. So, mm-hmm. so unfortunately, he 
even though it's saying this call can be recorded. Um, and I guess it is understandable because I I didn't know all about the act until this, but he didn't think that this would be released to the public. And so there is a channel on YouTube that all they do is collect like jail phone calls. You remember that trial that went on last year or two years ago with that uh, attorney from that big family from South Carolina and the attorney was accused of, um, you know, unaliving his wife and son. I don't know if you, the, the Murdoch family, something oh, like that. Yeah, yeah, I seen the television so, show. But I yeah, so she, she has his phone calls. So any kind of like, it, anything, any case that's big in the public eye, she, her, this, this uh, CC, her and her husband manage the channel. They go out and reach out to that government agency and they, you have to purchase the calls and they purchase the calls. So they have like phone calls from this Murdoch case. Um, there's another recent case with some girl that had, a, that hit someone. She was drinking and driving. They have her phone calls. And the backstory about Ernesto is apparently another CC reached out to that channel and said, hey, are you, you may be interested in collecting phone calls for Shirley Strawberry. She's a public figure, yada, yada, yada. So they started collecting the calls, but the calls are like, she's, the calls are kind of sporadic in dates, but they're from, they're from like 2022, early 2022. And then she kind of brings it up to date. So like, if you listen in the beginning, those are like old calls. But at, but when you get to the point when she's talking about Steve Harvey, at that point, it's gotten out to the internet, to the public, that the calls are being recorded. And from that point on, he now knows that his calls are being published on YouTube. But what doesn't dawn on him is, yes, he's he's on the calls talking to Shirley and they're publishing those. They're also publishing the calls where he's talking to his son, his homeboy, and his mistress. Mm. And that's where his alleged mistress, because she doesn't really like people calling her a mistress. Mm -hmm. So um, there's a- she is. Yeah. Well, she don't want to be called that. She's she's already trying to say she's gonna sue people, even though she well, admits. The thing is, like, we can't blame her because the only people we can really blame is him because he is married. He the one sought after probably her, the, the so-called mistress allegedly. Um, I blame her too for the cheating, but she ain't she, the reason. Yeah, she if she, yeah, if she continue like. Because some men, they are married. They'll go after and seek a, a woman and that, that woman don't know the man's married. But she's still going to face the same, you know. Mm -hmm. thing well, she, 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 she just didn't realize what she was getting into because on Tasha K, she said they didn't have any kind of intimacy. But what happened was at the time she was doing Tasha K, she didn't really understand I don't think that she understood the phone calls that were coming out. So, you know, Tasha does her, her interviews and when they're released, they're not, ne she didn't necessarily do the interview that same week. She could have done the interview months ago. So when the interview was released in the interview with Tasha K, she says, oh no, we didn't have a sexual relationship. We're just friends. I, he's married and yada, yada, yada. Well, when she said that, the next several calls that were released, they were talking about when they when they met in Florida and they hooked up. And she said the year. And it was like 20, it was like 2021. He was he's been married to Shirley for eight years. So then people were like, oh, you lied. So then she came back and was like, well, the reason why I lied, because I ain't want y'all in my bitch. So, you know, that's why she's being labeled as a mystery. But anyway, you if you listen to a lot of the calls in the beginning, you'll see like Shirley is very much being like a supporting wife. It's like she's kind of naive in my opinion. Um, and she's just really supporting him as a wife would do, but she's not 
questioning, um, and I know Bron's like, um, you don't know all the backstory, but some of some of the charges, some of the some of the charges involve her daughter. Her daughter's name was forged on some lease, like rental property or something, allegedly. Mm-hmm. And he and and it's like you're you're shocked that Shirley isn't getting on him about her daughter's name being involved. Mm-hmm. So there's conversations, there's conversations where Shirley is up talking about her daughter, saying she's upset that her daughter talked to the police, and she said, "When we get, when you get out, we'll handle this." And he was he was saying, I don't know how they got your this was like his his partner, his they did business together. And he, he's saying he doesn't know how his partner got Shirley's daughter's name hmm. to put on these like these leasing properties or something, allegedly. And so Shirley's more like supporting him and she she's like upset with her daughter. And people were very disappointed listening to that call how Shirley was upset with her daughter for going to the police. But I, I think the girl had to go to the police because she would have been charged or mm-hmm. it, it's, it's hitting her credit. And what? so you'll hear all those, you'll hear all those calls and this, but this recent call that you're, that you're playing, this mm-hmm. is in uh, the year, this is now in 2023. And it is my opinion that I believe Allegedly, we, mm-hmm. one of the attorneys, when Shirley was paying for the attorneys, Shirley has paid between thirty and forty thousand. She was making payments to an attorney. She was putting money on his books. She was mm-hmm. paying for the storage units. She was paying for the cars that still have car payments. She had uh, her wages was being garnished for like places they moved into and left. Shirley was doing a whole lot for this man. For him. And this man, I mean, one the 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 lady that's calling him Sonya, the, the mistress, she's already admitted they had sex. Mm. And there's other women on this case that allege that they were with him. So all this is going on. I mean, it's it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff out there. All of this is going on while he's married to Shirley. So it is nice to now finally hear a call. Mm-hmm. Where Shirley okay. is standing okay. up for herself. So I'm. I have um, the page that you told me about the Pam Esquire. Um, yeah. Do you remember the name of the title of the video? It's oh, I sent it to you. I sent oh, it to you. you. Sent it to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, from my other phone. Okay. It's called Shirley Strawberry is fed up. I sent it from my other phone. Oh self. yeah, I have it. Okay, I was. So it's out. that. So this is fair use and this is Pam Esquire's, uh, it was easier to find this video on, on Pam's page. Oh, Pam I Esquire's a CC. Let me click it. Hmm. You want me to send it again? Yeah, send it again. Uh, Cause it's, it's not shaded um, blue or anything. And it won't, I'm clicking on it and it won't click. Okay, hold on. Or just oh. tell me, you know the title of it? Because I, I have it up. I have all the the screen up on her lives and stuff.
Okay. All right, guys. Um, can you hear me? You're back on. So what's the name of the um, call? I didn't get the um, text yet. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. I, I exited it out of the browser by mistake. So if I try to go out, it's, it's I'm doing this on my phone, so it's... Uh -huh. um, can you go to her page? It's called Shirley's. Or you could probably go into YouTube and just type in Shirley Strawberry is fed up. Okay. And it should it should. Or if you're on Pam's page, you'll you'll see it. Yeah, I'm on her page. And we want it won't be the whole video because at so at the end of her video, she does like oh, panel. So okay. Um, okay. So it's fair use. Yeah, for fair use, not intended to harm, just for entertainment and critical analysis. And, and you know we have to stop and do commentary in between. Yeah. So we're just just trying to um, try to figure out why this man did this. His wife like this, really. Um, it's just uncalled for. Um, but we're listening. From Shirley, uh, not Shirley, but Pam Esquire, the Law Intellects channel, and, and she is mm -hmm. she's playing she's replaying the video from the phone calls from prisons uh, channel, and okay. this is just this is one of the calls. I, this is the one call where we hear Shirley taking a stance, and she is like she she's fed up because this is this conversation they're having it's been some time and he hasn't talked to Shirley Shirley stopped the money and so this is how the conversation is going so if you start it and then we can do commentary in between okay I'm just trying to fast forward to see where he starts talking or where they start talking because um, the young lady is doing her commentary yeah. Well, or I can go on I can go on mute and try to figure it out too yeah because she's doing a lot of oh, talking and one thing about it you can't rewind because you can get a strike for that so right hold on a second I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go on mute and listen okay Okay, Bron. So you, we're gonna get a little bit of Pam's talking, but let me also mention that in this phone call, because I I know you don't know the history of this mess. So in this phone call as well, it's you're gonna hear Ernesto's actually calling his best friend and getting him involved because, like I said, Shirley has stopped all her support. So if you start at at like the four. Uh, four minute and 58 second mark Pam's gonna start talking but it'll eventually play the call four minute and what 58 seconds okay somewhere in between there yeah yeah well, here we go So this is Pam Esquire, the Law 
and select channel. Oh, wow. That's a lot Are you of playing it? Yeah, you can't hear it. Mm -mm, no. Okay, so you can't hear it. No. So they muted. It, it should it should be showing up on the screen too, right? No. Um, you just playing the audio. Yeah, I'm just gonna play the audio. Uh, hold on. Let yeah. Do it. Okay. Sleeve. One second. Well, we should. I, you know what? I have YouTube uh, Premium. I, if you were going to do the audio, I could have done the audio because I have YouTube Premium, so there's no commercials. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Okay, well, here it's playing. It's, it's playing. Uh oh. Because then we are going to go back and do our own commentary. So, again, shout out to Phone Call from Prison for all the hard work. They're up day and night. Her and her husband are out there going through 900 calls and finding and that's a lot. <laughs> and editing them out and, and bleeping names and numbers and everything that needs to be done so that we can watch it. So we appreciate them. If you guys have not subscribed to their channel, make sure you go over there, hit that notification button because you're going to be mad if you miss out on this. This is Pam Esquire. In, in the chat. Thank you guys again for coming over here and rocking with your girl tonight on what is today? Monday? I don't even know what day it is. I guess it's But let's let's get into it. Let's get into okay, it. Okay, this was a month ago. What's that going on, Pam? Hello. How you doing? What's going on? Can you turn your music down down some okay. Brian? Yeah. Let me turn it down. Okay, okay. How you been doing? I can. Yep. You see, off rip, we knew this was going to be a good phone call because Dre, everybody needs a friend named Dre and they need a mirror. You need a friend and a mirror to tell you what is going on in your life. Dre said immediately, she not answering your phone call. She done had your back this whole What you done did? What you done did? Okay. <laughs> That's how I knew this phone call was going to be epic. Yeah, See, it, can you pause it? Pause it. Uh -huh. So Dre is his best friend. Him and Dre served time together. And Dre is, let's just say, one of the characters in this whole big mess. Dre, Dre is, I would say, for the most part, like you want your man to have a friend that's going to tell him the truth and set him straight. So you can go ahead and play unless you got something else to add. Okay. Yeah. If your wife don't stop taking your phone calls, she's been taking them the whole year, you've been gone. There's something ain't right. You know, you don't want, you like, you like to see a half of the story. Oh, no, you okay, didn't. Let me call her right now. Then. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I've got to tell you that. I ain't telling my friend everything. You like to see a half of the story. I don't want to get caught up in that. Dre is a character for real. At least he's telling the truth. I don't do that. One thing I, I noticed, I may have been consistent the whole time y'all been together, and all of a sudden now, are you saying, are you saying that you called her one time and she didn't call you back? When you said she stopped picking your calls, what you mean you've been trying to call for the last month? 
Yeah, I've been calling call it for the last month. Uh, the last holiday. Oh, she had enough. Remember, he said he's been calling yeah, it for the last month. Just, just make up stuff as he goes. But you'll see why I say that as the call progresses. This so, man yeah, is oh, crazy. <laughs> slow. <laughs> yeah, country slow. <laughs> no offense to the country people. I'm country too. Yeah. <laughs> She got no money, she's not doing this. I said, well, okay, well, I said, well, so the car post holiday. Uh, she takes me like two, three days before the you know, she takes when she says she sent you the money. She gives you the money, and she said that me, me and your best friend, we're gonna always be there for you. You want this is so and opportunistic. Then, and then like a week somebody later, said uh you know, they needed the caption on. Uh, because you can't understand him. Oh my God! I, I don't think I can go through all this. Where is Where is Shirley at? Well, you have you have you have to hear this because she's gonna come on. It, okay. It's coming up. Okay. okay. You know, it's like talking to one of them old men. Oh, oh I know. So I know. Dungarees on. Because <laughs> he, you know, he can't talk on the phone. He only has like thirty or twenty minutes, so you know. <laughs> this time me and God. Now, now Bron, when you when you hear Shirley come on, I want you to listen to like it's a reason why I wanted you to play Pam's version. Cause you'll hear the stuff he said. It don't even make sense. It's like, what in the country hell are you talking about? He's the country bunkin. Yes. Look at him getting mad talking about her friends, uh, about her family, her friends and everything. Now these were the friends that you thought had you. Oh, oh, they real good friends. They really got you back on them earlier calls. Look how fast he flipped. Oh, it's the friends fault. Because you're basically saying Shirley don't have the mind to do this on her own. That's oh, what you were insinuating. Yeah. It had to be somebody, her, her fat friend. It had to be somebody who put this in her ear not to talk to you because she just couldn't decide you scum. You're scum of the earth on her own. Like, come on. That's right. Going back for her. Uh, and she not doing the body, she probably what has this man really did for Shirley? Oh, huh? His friend tired of him. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't even tell her the good news. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I this man is in denial. You that don't know. Ernesto has several financial charges, but he also has charges where it's alleged that there were some photographs of children found on one of his devices. Oh they my say it's God. on a computer. The actual incident report doesn't say what it was on, but they say it was an old computer. They being he and Sonia. He let me just me, let me just say those charges have now been dropped as of a week ago. The the, the child the children charge a lawyer mm. for a case that Ernesto seemingly brought her in on because it was for an eviction that of a house that was in Shirley's name where Shirley never came to any of these proceedings. We went over that. Um. Also. I believe it was maybe um, another one similar for the rental house on her posing as something with the rental house. That's it. Why are you thinking that this, your co-defendant getting out, and by the way, there were reasonings why we haven't been able to go over why Erica King did get a bomb, but we'll do that over here. There were reasoning why she was let out. She was let out on bond, I believe, like in March or something. This call is June 15th. You could, if you could speed it up a little bit. Maybe. Good news yeah, because this is... I, I should have... I should have... I should have... Well. <laughs> I should have did the audio for you since I know where to stop. Yeah. I don't need no third party. I don't need no hee hee ha I need to hear from 
Because he, he's going to get to a point where, where Dre is going to say, well, what do you want me to do? And that's when Shirley, he's going to call Shirley. Oh, his friend don't even need to be involved. Wait, you don't, you don't set it up into the call. This call is, you don't set it up too far. Okay, well, I can't go you, back. So just you go want back. To, yeah, yes, you can go back because you're doing audio. You're not doing video. You can go back. You want to do? You want to do it? I think. I think we should do this. Mm -hmm. I think we should do this live another day because it's too much, too many distractions. Yeah. And well, let's let's do it another day. I'm gonna call you. Okay. Yeah, because we need we need to know what the time stamp is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna hang up and call your phone. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, thank you guys for Uh listening. Just tried to uh, share this with you guys. Peace and blessings. This man is too much. They ain't calling her B. He is a hater. Just, you don't want her to take care of her daughter and her grandkids. You want her to give all her money. She already gave up, what, 40 grand? He is a user. Oh, my gosh. He is a user.